Okay, good morning class. I am your instructor for Music 5. Before we start, let's make a groupings because we are going to play a game called Song Tanong. Understood class? Okay, you are going to group into two. Each group will play this game. Then, I will play the minus one of the song. You will just listen. Before we start, here are the mechanics to be follow listen class okay mechanics each song will play for 10 seconds each group will raise their answer after the song has stopped each correct answer will be given two points the group who will gain the highest score will be the winner is that clear class start here is the first song. Okay, group 2, what is your answer? Very good. The title of the song is Grew Old With You. The second song. Listen carefully. Okay, group 2 again. What is the title of the song? Okay, very good. The title of the song is A Thousand Years. Okay, the third song. Listen carefully, my dear student. Okay, group one, what is the title of the song? Okay, very good. The title of the song is When I Look At You. Okay, the first song. Listen carefully. Okay, group one, what is the title of the song? Okay, very good. The title of the song is On the Wings of Love. Listen carefully, here is the last song. Okay, group 2, what is the title of the song? Okay, very good. The title of the song is Born for You. Okay class, very good. We have a winner for today's game. Group 2 is the winner. Job well done, my dear student. Okay class, we are going to, to proceed to our discussion for today. I will going to discuss about the vocal and instrumental sounds. Musical and symbol is a group of two or more musicians who perform instrumental or vocal music. Rondala the term rondala itself was taken from the Spanish word ronda, meaning serenade. So, the rondala in symbol were very popular in the Philippines in the 1960. Competitions and media exposure heightened this hype. In fact, most schools and barangays or towns have their own rondala in symbol as they are being founded well by their respective institutions. This made the rondala an important form of folk art often observed during festas and weddings. So, here are the rondala instruments in the Philippines. The bandoya is a pear-shaped instrument with 14 strings and a round sound hole. Please look at the pictures, my dear student. So, the bandoria is it is usually used to play the melody of the songs. Next, the piccolo. 
is also a pear-shaped instrument with 14 strings that is smaller than a bandoria. So, a piccolo, it, it produces a lighter sound than a bandoria when it played with a pick. Next, the loud. Looks like a piccolo in a bandoria. It has if holes and longer neck. So, uh, a loud, its range is one octave lower than the bandoria. Next, the octavin. Is shaped like guitar with 14 strings. Is an octave lower like laud. So, the octavina, its range is one octave lower than the bandoria. Next, the guitar used in the rondala is a 12 string instrument that is bigger than the octavina. So, a guitar, it, this instrument usually plays the chords for accompaniment and gives a steady rhythm as well. Next, the bow dionas has four thick strings, strings that looks like a violin compared to a double bass. So the Baudionas is the biggest among the rondala instrument in the or we called it a double bass. This is the only instrument in the rondala and cymbal that has no frets and is played with a bow. It provides the chords needed to reinforce the steady beat when the drums are not in use. Next, we have the drum in Lyre Corps, another important instrumental and symbol that is very popular in the Philippines. is the drum in Lyre Band or Corps. It is a marching in symbol compared mostly of percussions, instruments, and a color guard section. So, under the drum in Lyre Corps, we have the marching band section. The marching band section have its own instruments. First, the snare. So, a snare is a double-headed drum with rattles. Then, a snare plays a struck with a drum stick. It's an unpitched percussion instrument used in marching bands. Next, the tenor drum is a cylindrical drum that has a higher pitch than a bass drum. So, the tenor drum, it is often mounted in twos, threes, fours, fives, and six. This gives the tenor drum various names like duos, duos, quads, quints, and sixteenths based on the number of drums mounted. It is struck with soft mallets or hand sticks. Next is the bass drum. It's very large drum that produce, produces a low and indefin indefinite tone. So the bass drum, it is struck on either head by a stick, a mallet, or a stick covered with a heavy felt. It is used to mark time and to order the band to start or stop marching. The next, the next is the cymbals. Our thin, this shape plates that are made from alloy. So the cymbal have no definite pitch. They are either struck with a stick or clashed with each other. So we have the large section. Under the large sections, the large section have their own instruments. First one is the bell lyre is the main instrument in the jam lyre corps glatin spell it is a set of stone metal bars arranged on a tree or in, or in a frame in keyboard fashion for matching band so the glatin spell it is similar to a xylophone with a higher pitch this instrument is struck with a mallet the next one is the vibraphone it is a similar in a Appearance with the xylophone, the black and spell, and the marimba. Each bar of the vibraphone is paired with a resonator tube. So, 
the vibraphone, this percussion instrument has a sustained pedal that consists that in the instrument produced. It is struck by mallet made from bowl wrapped by a ear or a cord. The next one is the marimba. It's a percussion instrument consists of a set of wooden bars following the arrangement of the case of the piano. So the marimba, this instrument has a broader timbre and a lower tonal range than that of the xylophone. This instrument is struck with a pair of mallets or even with two pair of mallets. The, under the bamboo in symbol or pangkat kawayan. So bamboo in symbol, literally bamboo and otherwise known as the singing bamboo of the Philippines is a unique orchestra that throws music from unconventional bamboo instruments. So, under the bamboo instruments, we have the angklong, bamboo rattle tubes attached to a bamboo frame. So, angklong tubes are carved to have a resonant pitch when struck. Each angklong represents a note and it is toned to octave. Place the counterpoint to the melody. It is played by shaking the lower part with one hand while the upper and holding it into the other hand steady. Next one is the bumbong or bamboo tube. It is divided. It is made of hollow pieces of bamboo that has been put together and serve as the orchestra's wind section. So, bamboo tube, it is divided into two sections, which is bass, lower, and horn, higher sections. Each bumbong represents one note. To produce the sound, it has to be blown through a mouthpiece. The next one is the kalato, or bamboo knocker, a percussion instrument made of pieces of bamboo that are strung together with pieces of bamboo with the varying tones when struck by a rubber mallet. Next one is the talong gating or bamboo marimba. Mallets made out of rattan and rubber are used to play the instruments. So talong gating made from the bamboo that follows the musical scale in style of the typical cyclophone. It, it plays the melody. Okay, the next. We have the indigenous musical in symbols. There are various indigenous, indi, indigenous musical groups or in symbols in northern and south, southern part of the Philippines. We have the, the gangsa in symbol is composed of five to six gong players that are accompanied by drums. So, the gangsa in symbol may be struck with a mallet or played with a bare hands. This in symbol is often played during rites of birth celebrations, harvesting, serenading, and even building rice terraces. This, we can find it in the nor northern part of the Philippines. The next one, we have the Kolintang in symbol. We can find it in Mindanao region, accompanied by song, the songs, dances, and rites of the region. So the Kolintang in symbol, in the southern part of the Philippines known as the Mindanao region, a prominent gong in symbol popularly called a as Kolintang in symbol. So this in symbol composed of a set of bass gongs played in a row called Kolintang, a set of suspended gongs called Gundingan, a single large suspended gong called Agong. A gong slightly bigger than the smallest Kolintang called Babandel and member prone called Dabakan. The next one is the angklong may be composed of five or more pieces of angklong depending on the music that will be performed. So angklong, 
another well-known in symbol in the Philippines which is also popular in Southeast Asia. The angklong is a musical instrument made from bamboo tubes. The bamboo tubes as she came to create a resounding pitch. Each angklong has a specific pitch. Okay class, that's all for our discussion for today. Let's get your paper and answer this activity. Identify the following pictures if they belong to the following in symbols. Right trandala, drum, and lyre band, bamboo in symbols, indigenous in symbols. Understood, my dear students? After that, please pass your paper and I will check it later. Okay class, I have some questions to test your learnings about our lesson that I have been discussed. Okay, here is my first question. What are the instruments in the rondala and symbol? Anyone? Okay, what is your answer? Okay, very good. The Arda, Bandoria, the Piccolo, the Loud, the Octavina, the Guitar, and the Bao di Onas. Okay, the next question. What are the two sections of drum in lyre corps? Anyone? Okay. What is your answer? Okay, very good. The Arda, marching band section in the lyre section. Next question. What are the instruments under the marching band section in the lyre section? Anyone, my dear student? Okay. What is your answer? Okay, very good. Under the ma under the marching band section, they are the snare, the tenor drum, the bass drum, and the cymbals. And under the lyre section, they are the bell lyre, the glockenspiel, the vibraphone, the marimba. Okay, next question. What are the instruments in the pangkat kawayan? Anyone? Understood that? Okay, what is your answer? Okay, very good. Diarda, angklong, kalatok, or bamboo knocker, bumbung, or bamboo tube, talonggating, or bamboo marimba. Next question. What are the various indigenous musical and symbol? Anyone? Okay, what is your answer? Okay, very good. Diarda, gangsa in symbol, dakolintang in symbol, and the angklong in symbol. Okay, class, very good. Please get your notebook and copy your assignment. You are going to search. Watch an example of a performing gangsa, then make a reaction paper of it. You are going to write your answer in a coupon band. And that's all, my dear student. Thank you for listening for today's discussion.